All right, guys, back with another video here in my quest to optimize the HP Reverb G2 for X-Plane 11 VR. And I'm starting to get some really great frame rates. Just want to show you what I'm doing here. So here's my setup for X-Plane 11. Visual effects high, texture quality max, anti-aliasing on the second notch, NCO traffic filtering at 16x, world objects medium, reflection minimal, Vulcan is on. So those are the settings for X-Plane. And take a look at the settings for Steam VR. We're running, we're running in full mode in the uh, Windows uh, Mixed Reality settings. Uh, full resolution, I should say. But here we go for Steam VR. We've got per eye resolution at 100%, okay, 90 hertz. We've got super sampling on, filtering on. And if we go into application, we've got maximum resolution for X-Plane 11 set, smoothing at enabled, and legacy repro reprojection mode is off. So that's how we have things set. And I'm flying the Arabesque uh, DA62 in the Nevada desert in that area, flying to Las Vegas. And just take a look at the frame rates that I'm getting here. We're getting frame rates in the 40s. Here we got 42, 44, 43, you know, roughly around 44 frames per, per second. And we've got uh, a frame time of uh, 0 0.22 around there which is really fantastic. Uh, this, it's absolutely smooth when I move my head. Obviously, the visual quality is fantastic because we're, we're flying maximum resolution. I'm not getting any frame stuttering at all, and it's a great, great experience. I think it may have to do with I, no I knocked down anti-aliasing by one notch. I was in 4X, now I'm in 2X. That certainly put less uh, strain on the GPU because now the GPU is running at about 66%, as you see there. CPU about 43, 44, 39, so in the, in the high 30s, low 40s. So we really got a great experience with the 1080 Ti here and the i7-6700 X-Plane 11. It's awesome. Full resolution with the HP Reverb G2. Couldn't ask for more. All right, so now as we get closer to Las Vegas, the frame rates have reduced quite a bit. They're now close to 30 frames per second. And if we take a look at the utilization, uh, if we go to GPU, Graphics 1, we're still in that 60% range, roughly, 54, sorry, 54, 55, so CPU is around 39, uh, we're just, just touching 30 frames per second, we're getting into an area where there's a lot more, more buildings here, in any event, I just wanted to show you uh, what the optimization is like, or the performance, I should say, is if we have HP Reverb, set in steam vr at 100 and 100. it seems to be very usable at least in the nevada mountains and also in near uh, coming into las vegas where we've got more buildings as you can see right there anyway i hope this video was helpful if you'd like i just posted a video before a couple days ago about how to optimize the reverb 2. Uh, it has a great thread in it with a bunch of people that contributed that you might want to check out uh, I'll put the link in the end of the video, which you'll be able to click on. Uh, be sure to check that out. But if you like what you saw today, hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel for more HP Reverb G2 videos as well as X-Plane 11 VR. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.